What's up everyone, it's Mayor Randall Woodfin, and I can't believe we're here at the end of 2021. Look, before we wrap up the year, I just want to take a moment to look back and reflect on some of the biggest accomplishments we've made together. Thanks to our Pardons for Progress initiative, we've pardoned more than 15,000 residents this year with prior minor marijuana convictions. We've also championed the fight for decriminalization and legalization at the state level. It's 2021, y'all, and a little bit of possession of marijuana should not ruin anybody's life. Now I've made it no secret that my number one, my number one priority continues to be neighborhood revitalization. That work has taken many forms. First, we've heard your concerns about street paving and we've sprung into action. More than 14 million of our operating budget is dedicated to neighborhood revitalization. And within that, 10 million of that is for street repair and paving, which includes roads like Porto Madrid getting much needed service. So I hope you stay tuned for smoother streets because they're headed your way. Revitalization continues to make its way through Inslee as well. The Ramsey McCormick building, which sat vacant almost four decades, was demolished to make way for a new five-story development. The former Inslee High School property, abandoned for 15 years, is in the process of being transformed into a 244 home mixed-use development. And in the Bellevue Heights community, a $25 million project will bring new affordable housing to Oak Hill. Revitalization isn't just about place, it's about people. We're working to give so many a new start. This year, we passed the largest budget in city history. And the reason we were able to do that is because we had a robust response to COVID-19. We provided needed help to our small business community through public-private partnerships like Birmingham Corp. We invested in our minority and women-owned businesses, and we partnered with the Department of Health UAB and the state to make vaccinations widely available earlier than many parts of the country. Now that's not all. Throughout the toughest moments of the pandemic, our dedicated city employees never wavered. They continued to serve you day in and day out, no matter the circumstance. For their tireless service, we were able to provide city employees COVID-19 premium payments for their work. It's because they showed incredible fortitude during uncertain times, truly putting people first. 2021 saw the debut of Protective Stadium, as well as the return of the renovated Legacy Arena. Fans of the UAB Blazers, the Birmingham Squadron, the Birmingham Legion, and the Birmingham Bowl have a new home. And just as importantly, Birmingham is in a position to attract high profile sporting events to our region. That's revenue that will go right back into our communities. And just wait, just wait until next year's World Games. We're just getting started. Speaking of sports, this year, we continued our grand tradition of being home of the Magic City Classic, the largest historically black college and university football game in the country. We also welcomed the Morehouse Tuskegee Classic to Birmingham as well, helping to establish our city as the new home for HBCU competition. We love to see it. Finally, our commitment to our students can be summed up in two words, Birmingham Promise. This year, we graduated our second class of Promise students expanded our apprenticeships program and received more than 10 million in investments to make sure the program continues that our BCS students are able to graduate and go to college or into the workforce without fear of student loans and debt. And there you go. Just a sample, everybody. Just a sample of some of the ways we pushed Birmingham forward in the past 12 months. I can't wait to see what 2022 brings, but I know one thing for sure. We'll achieve all of our goals when we progress together.